Hello. This video is about working with MIDI in Ableton and just a general overview of what MIDI is in general. So, uh, it's kind of meant for beginners to both Ableton and beginners to MIDI. So, uh, so what is MIDI? Uh, MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, and MIDI is a way to get uh, pieces of hardware or now software to talk to each other uh, using a special MIDI cable or with a software it's all done internally in the computer. <clears throat> And it should be made clear that MIDI is not audio. MIDI, MIDI is just digital messages telling one piece of hardware to do something. Uh, the way we use MIDI now has changed a little from when it was first created. Like, for example, um, back, back in the day you would connect a computer uh, to a keyboard. And the keys on the piano digital keyboard would tell the computer uh, via MIDI messages to play a note. The keyboard itself isn't producing any audio, just telling the computer what to play, and then the computer produces the audio. The keyboarding is the keyboard is acting as a controller. Conversely, a computer could be plugged into a real sound producing synthesizer via a MIDI cable, and the computer could then uh, tell the synth what to play. Uh, the computer, in that case, would be the controller. So uh, nowadays. Uh, MIDI applications have expanded dramatically with the rise of programs like Ableton and Pro Tools. So now MIDI isn't just about playing a keyboard. Uh, you can also use MIDI controllers to turn knobs, to trigger samples, mess with effects, and pretty much anything else that you need to do. You can put, you know, map out onto a MIDI keyboard or some, some sort of MIDI device. I've used entire mixing boards, upwards of 80 grand, that don't even process audio at all. All the audio processing is done on the computer. The mixing board just uses MIDI signals to make changes in the in the program. So essentially, it just acts as a giant mouse. You turn a knob on the board, and the same knob turns on the screen to whatever you've mapped it to. Uh, that's an important term to know, mapping. Um, if you have a MIDI keyboard, and you want one knob to make something turn, for example, the wet-dry on a reverb, uh, you map that. Those are said to be mapped. Um, but the beauty of MIDI is, since it's not audio, uh, the different things that you can do with it aren't limited to one sound or like one control. For example, you could take you could take uh, this controller here. This is a cool controller. Um, and map it so all the knobs adjust the controls on a, on a compressor. Or you could have them all adjust panning or something like that. And the keys can play flute sounds that you've got on the computer. Uh, but you could easily remap that so it does something completely different. Um, this particular one I really like, it has pa these pads on it, and these pads you can map it so they do pretty much anything. Um, you could set these up as drum pads, so you could assign different uh, drums for each pad, and you could just play it. Uh, really anything. And uh, a lot of times, with more expensive ones like this, uh, programs like Ableton will already have uh, the entire setup for that particular MIDI keyboard already in there. So you just go in, you plug it in via USB, and um, it just will recognize it and work automatically. It's pre-mapped. With other ones, less expensive controllers like this one, I don't think this one is pre-mapped. Uh, but this one has um, just some pretty basic stuff, modulation wheel, pitch wheel, a few faders, a few buttons, and a little bit of a transport section here where you can, you know, play, stop, go back, and then a keyboard. And this one you can see has MIDI cables and USB. So, um, let's play with some MIDI. This is, by the way, this is the keyboard, uh, or the uh, mixing board that I've used that was uh, entirely... Um, MIDI, entirely digital, no audio processing whatsoever, and uh, this is a MIDI cable. So let's go into uh, Ableton. So I've got a simple little MIDI controller here next to me, and um, it doesn't have any knobs or anything, it's just a keyboard. Uh, but as you can see when I push, when I hit a note, this light up here in, in the corner uh, lights up, indicating that it is getting MIDI signal, it's getting digital signal from the keyboard. Uh, again, no audio. So, <clears throat> I'll open up this program I, hear, I have here called Contact. Uh, but first what I need to do is I need to put a MIDI track in, and then I can place Contact on the MIDI track. So, this is Contact.
Uh, it's a program that has various sound samples that I can trigger and play. And I'm running contact into Ableton using a process called Rewire. And I'll talk more about that later, but it basically means uh, it just lets me run audio from one program, uh, like Contact or any other one, uh, through Ableton. So they can be running together as a pair. So I'll load up this uh, Mellotron samples that I've got somewhere in here. Let me find it. All right, so I found the Mellotron samples that I've got in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load up. I like the vibes. So I just took this little program and loaded it into here. Let me turn it down a little. And now you can see here there are some blue. This is where the samples are. Uh, the Mellotron wasn't a full keyboard, so it only had this many samples. But now when I push the button, or excuse me, when I hit, hit the key on uh, the keyboard, my MIDI keyboard, it plays it. So audio is coming out, audio is being processed, but it's all being processed in the computer, and the MIDI keyboard is just triggering it. So you can see what happens down here if I'm playing out of the range of the samples, but you can still see. So, so that's been auto-mapped. It automatically knows that there's a keyboard attached, and so it just it knows that when I play it, it will play those notes. Now let's say you had something that you wanted to customize, you want to have it mapped just the way you want. Well the way that you would do that is you would say uh, bring up, a, I'm gonna say bring up a reverb here. So now I want to map it so um, let's say I've got uh, this, this one, and it's got all these knobs here and I want these knobs to control the parameters of the reverb. What I would do is I'd, I would come up to this button here, it says MIDI, I'd hit it on, and what it does is it brings up this little MIDI mapping window, and it turns everything blue. Everything that can be customized or can be mapped turns blue. So what I would do is, let's say I want one knob to adjust wet-dry. I would click on the wet-dry, and then since I don't have a knob with me right now, I can't show you, but uh, I would twist the knob. That's all I would do. I, was cl I would click wet-dry, then I would twist the knob, and then it would link those two. So then it would show up over here and it would say uh, control note and it would say knob one for example and then path it would say wet dry so now I know that that will control it so if I hit MIDI again close that when I go and I turn the knob which I don't have but if I turn the knob the wet dry would move so that's how you can map everything out uh, and that can be useful for all sorts of things you can you can use it for triggering um, you can anything Turn, turn something on, turn something off, doesn't matter. Um, one other thing that you can do, it's not uh, technically MIDI, but it uses the same process that it's good to know, is you can key map things, uh, where you can use your computer keyboard uh, to trigger other things as well. So for example, if I hit key here, and then I click uh, this button, and I'm going to do this one, uh, and then I hit number 7. As you can see, it brings up key 7 here, can controls arming contact name arm so now I close it so now if I hit 7 that arms that turns on turns off so it's essentially that it's all pretty simple and um, yeah that's about it